has arrived. Ambassador Jenny, what do you got? Hi, everyone. First question is from Alex Thompson. Approximately how long does it take to research, script, produce, and film an episode of TYT? Ah, we just come out here and wing it. You know what I tell the guys? We'll do it live! <laughs> no. Uh, unfortunately for me, it takes about 15 hours a day. Uh, now, look, we don't just do the two-hour live show here and pick out the clips, etc. We also have a TV show for the moment being. So it's, it's a long, long day from about 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. There is no scripts. There's no teleprompter. We don't read out the scripts. But you have to produce all the graphics, all the videos. You've got to put them in order, etc. It's a significant pain in the ass. So thank you for asking. And it does take a long time with all the people here involved, Jesus, JR, Irina, and everyone else. Yes, next. Randy wants to know, do you like Star Trek? Who's your favorite character and why? Well, first of all, do I love Star Trek? Engage. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Worf, who doesn't love Worf? Uh, Spock, who doesn't love Spark? Kirk, of course. Those are all classic. And Jean-Luc Picard has his fans as well. It's, it's an embarrassment of riches. There's too many great characters, right? Uh, Data's awesome. Uh, I'm going to go with Picard, and I'll tell you why. Because he has strength through wisdom. I like that. So he's not like the guy who's like macho, like I like number one, like the big guy with the mustache. All right, well, what are we going to do next? I like Picard. He's smart. And he says, make it so. <laughs> so yes, there's a lot of characters I love. Next. Casey Moonigan. If you can bring back one deceased person to interview, who would it be and why? I love this question, uh, but it's a no-brainer. Jesus. Can you imagine interviewing Jesus of Nazareth? <laughs> well, you need a translator. But, <laughs> no, look, that would be the greatest interview of all time, literally, right? Because I'm agnostic, so, I, you know, if you're a believer, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be an ass here. Uh, he's probably insane. If you did an interview with him and he's like, oh, no, dude, I'm the son of God. I'm the son of God. I, I'm the nucleus. I'm Jesus, right? You'd be like, and then you got into, like, how he walked on water, and then he stopped making up new stories. He's like, dude, I'll turn your paper into loaves of bread. I'll do it. You think I can't turn that coffee into wine? I'm like, all right, go for it. Oh, damn it. Okay, I mean, it would be an interview for the ages. And I'd love to show the rest of the world what all these religions are actually based on. All right, next. Joseph Flett, who's a TYT bannerman for meetups, wants to know, what is your biggest regret in life? I have such a terrible answer for this. It, like, you'll respect me less for this uh, after you hear my answer. Not getting late enough when I was younger. Okay, I, look, I'm keeping it real, okay? Like you think like, oh, something related to your career or some political thing. No, no, no. I keep thinking, oh man, if I knew back then what I know now, hot knife, meat butter. <laughs> I think about it all the time. I'm a bad guy. I'm just telling it like it is. Next. <laughs> Next one's from Professor Dorkman. For the kind of person that you are inside and out, what do you get from your father and what do you get from your mother? Based on the story I just told you, I might be Professor Dorkman. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, it, that one's easy too. My dad uh, is very logical, so uh, you know, the, all the logical reasoning that we do here on the show, if A and B are true, then C must be true, and we show you how politics breaks down, et cetera, that's my dad. Uh, and my mom is Mediterranean woman full of passion. I think you might see that on the show from time to time, too. So I'm lucky I got those two different sides from them. Next. Next one's from Amir Nadaf. In some of the TYT videos, Jenk seems to have something on his forehead, which he tries to mask mostly successfully with makeup. What is it? That's a great question. I love the random questions in Ask Jenk. Okay, this, which I'm not trying to mask, they just, in TV, they do makeup. You have it on you, right? Um, is a scar. Um, it's for when I was a kid. I literally fell on a radiator. That might explain a lot. Okay. And my skin peeled off, and then they had to stitch up my whole forehead. I don't know if you can see it, but that was the size of my baby forehead. But what's funny is that for people who've known me for years, sometimes decades, will one day go, oh my god, what happened to your forehead? It's like, well, it happened kind of 42 years ago, <laughs> and it's been there the whole time. All right, one last question. Last one's from Safe Nasser. What is one thing you really miss about your homeland? Go. <laughs> I like the go at that. Uh, Iskandar, Adana Kebab, Lahmajun. 
Elva. <laughs> okay. The food. Of course. I, I keep daydreaming about the food. I'm like, oh, I want to go back so bad to have all of that. All right. Now you know the crazy things that go in my mind. And you might know the reason why. We'll see you next time.